Okay, having bangs is like amazing, but also annoying as frick because they always have to look perfect or they're ugly. Just kidding. See, now it's like too heavy on this. What's good guys, it's me Becca Lynn and today we are delving into a new realm in the fashion world. For me, not overall, it's new for me. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca Lynn and I create fashion content and sometimes on the side I like to do a little bit of ghost hunting. We save that for the spooky season. So for now, we just stick to fashion stuff. Today I'm trying something a little different, so stay tuned for the video. If you are like me and you don't really have like a style, but you do, but you don't, you like a little bit of everything, click like and subscribe down below. I just need to know that I'm not alone in that. I like everything. I can't decide. <laughs> You can also follow me on my social medias down below. I am really active on my Instagram. You can check that out and also my TikTok. Just while you're down there, you can click all the buttons. Subscribe, like, you can comment while you're down there. That's great. I love reading the comments. Follow me on my social medias and um, yeah. Let's get right on to the video. Today we are going to be focusing on a different part of the fashion world, which is not clothing, accessory, makeup, but hair. Now I know my hair isn't too crazy right now, but it'll get there. Not crazy bad, like crazy good. I think hairstyles play a big role in your look. It can just change it up so much. I used to wear my hair down all the time. That's all I would do. I would, I mean, I would like straighten it or curl it occasionally. I was like, well, as long as my outfit looks good and my makeup looks good, that's all that matters. But I've recently started doing some different hairstyles and I feel like my looks have been elevated. So I'm just going to show you a couple that I have been really into and maybe you could try them out. Let me know what you guys think down below, but let's start off with the first hairstyle. My hair's a little like funky today. I don't know what this is. It's not very even, but that's okay because that's why we're doing hairstyles today. It's for when your hair's not looking great, just down. First things first, I am gonna take off my rings. Sadly, these guys gotta go for this video because my hair will get so tangled in them, especially this one. This one's the worst. Thing second, for the summer, I love the pyrostatic. And I love having like little braids in my hair, like little tiny braids with little charms in them. So I'm gonna add a couple of those cause that's a hairstyle all in itself. I have this little set of charms I got off of Amazon. These are my favorite, just like the little, the little hoops. I got this set because they had ones that had little dangly charms hanging off. They had the star and a lightning bolt. Honestly, that was a big draw for me and these little snaky guys too. So I'm gonna try to work some of these into the braids and then those will just be there, so. Some of them you have to work in as you're braiding and some of them you can put on after. So that's why it comes with this little guy and I'll show you how I do that. So let's start. Always take more than you think you're gonna need because I always take, I think a lot and then the braids are literally so small. I think this will be good. Honestly, put up the rest of my hair because this will be the easiest. And you know what? Looking at this now, this might be too small too, but we're just gonna go for it. What's a good idea is because if you braid it down and then you put your hair up, it's gonna like do a weird thing. So honestly, maybe braid it out. That might be the best. I hope you know how to braid because I don't know if I could explain that well other than you take three strands and you go over under. <laughs> I'm gonna put the snake in. I'm gonna put this snake on this guy right here. You should probably do this before. I don't know, I forgot, and I don't wanna rebraid this, so. Hello. I've never done a hair video, can you tell? It's on there, okay? I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, but I can't really talk, so I, if I need to, I'll do a voiceover, but just watch, okay? <gasps> Okay, I hope you got that. 
Honestly, I didn't even know what I was doing. I just took, took a guess and it worked. So we're gonna continue braiding, but make sure it's tight so he doesn't fall out. So I'm gonna braid it almost down to the end because my hair is curly-ish and I like how the ends kind of curl up a little bit. That end is not cute and curly like I said it was going to be, but. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put this little hoop. I just opened it, put it up here. I just like feed it through the hair and I like bend it back. You get the idea, right? <laughs> there she is. There's one. And I love having just the little peaks of like silver in my hair. So cute. We could do one on this side and then we'll do one more over here. I'm just gonna pull these out because I love these face framing pieces, but I am going to then braid away. Now that I have that, I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna put it right on where the elastic is to like hide it. There we go. All right, let's do one more. This is one that I will like pull apart to make it a little bigger. And don't worry about how like messy it is because like that's the point. It's supposed to be messy. It's a summer pirate look. There we go. This is something I like to do because it will add a lot to like if you want to just leave your hair down. Now I know my hair is dark, so you probably can't even tell. I sometimes wish I had blonde hair because you could see braids so much better in blonde hair, but that's also why I like adding the little charms because you can see like they poke out a little bit. But like if you want to put your hair up, like look, the little charm right there, like that's so cute. If you wanted to do like a little half up, half down with And ta-da! I like to make mine a little bit shorter. From my angle, it makes it look more voluminous. Maybe it looks dumb from the side, but I like how it looks like that. We got the little charm right there. It's so cute! Next. I don't want to do it, but it's a cute hairstyle, so I'm gonna do it. Next, we got another braid. If you couldn't tell, I'm not the best at braiding. <laughs> I can do it on my head, and because Half my head's gonna be covered. I'm gonna do it because it doesn't matter what it looks like really right now. So, so I just parted with my finger. I don't really give a crap about what it looks like in the back, TBH. So if you don't know how to French or Dutch braid, that is not something I can teach you. I wouldn't be a good teacher in that because I don't know what I'm doing. I just somehow get by with it. I'm gonna do it real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And look at that. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, what if I just went, no, I'm just kidding. I don't care how messy my hair is. So if you care about that, you should stop watching this video right now because these are all gonna be like messy hairstyles. Okay, so how crazy is the back? Don't tell me, I'm gonna see it myself. Um, so again, with the charms, so cute. You see them popping out everywhere, like so cute. You can also work some more in if you wanted to, I'm gonna pop two more guys on the these hair ties. Then you're gonna want a big silky scarf. Now, I didn't think about this when I put my shirt on today. So obviously I wouldn't wear this together. I don't have a plain one. That's what I would go with. Or maybe, sorry, just changing everything around. So what you're gonna do, fold it, triangle. You're gonna do... <laughs> Okay, then make that as flat as you can on the back. I don't know how to describe what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna hopefully show you. And then you're just gonna tie it. And this one is a little small. Maybe I just have a big head. That could be it too. I love this hairstyle. I wore this to the beach recently and I was like, this is so cute. Beach vibes? Pirate? Like, come on. There you go. There is another one that I'm gonna be working in this summer. All right, I am now going to take a break and go eat lunch because I'm hungry. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do like two, three more. It's all good? Okay.
I just finished eating and having a conversation with my friend about someone that I like. So let's get on to the next hairstyle. The next two are kind of similar, they kind of go hand in hand. I'm gonna use these star hair clips. Why can't I remember what these are called? Oh my god, Brett. Oh my god, <laughs> that's gonna kill me. So what I'm gonna do is put three in each side. Also, I'm still leaving this in because I like them. I like leaving a few out and I'm going to clip this tightly to my head, like so. This braid might get in the way, but let's see. No, wait, we might be good. Okay. Let's see, let me cut that. Let's do the other side. So this is one way. I think this is so cute. So like just doing this, you get like your hair out of the out of your face. Like this kind of like take took away that like weird whoosh I had in the side of my head. But like that's super cute, right? I like to wear this when I'm like going out and I'm like gonna get crazy. But like it keeps the hair out of my eyes, except for these two. To change it up a little bit, sometimes when I go to work, because I have to have my hair up. I will do this and then I will put it into two pigtails. This I feel like has a like a Y2K-ish kind of feel. I mean, it could just be the star clips in general. That's why like you can use different clips if you want to because it'll change up the vibe again. There's that one. This one's great if you want the look, but it's like hot. You don't want the hair on your back. I love pigtails. <laughs> I recently started doing them. I love it with like a hard, edgy look. Like this outfit right now, it's just like kind of cool. And then the third one is basically the same thing. Instead of pigtails, we do little buns. I've noticed that I don't like when the buns are out far, like how far the um, pigtails were. I like when they're like more in the back. And I also like when a bunch of hair is poking out. All right, so again, we'll do that on this side. <gasps> I love it. I'm just gonna pull out some hair in the back because it bothers me. <laughs> Make it look a little looser. Again, I like messy hairstyles, so pieces fall out and pieces fall out, you know? Like I said, no idea what it looks like. It could look crazy. I might do this a couple times to make sure the back looks a little funny. I just take a picture of the back of my head and I'm like, okay. But if I'm just doing a video and it looks good from the front, then I'm fine. So yeah, there's this one. Okay, and my bangs are safe. <laughs> Last one I'm going to show you is a different way to make a bun. I just learned it. If you guys know it already, great. I just learned this, so I want to share it with you guys. Okay, so first you're going to need two scrunchies, preferably bigger ones. What you're going to do is put all, put your hair in a ponytail with this on the top of your head. Easy enough, right? This might be like the sock bun trick, but I have no idea. <laughs> then you have the other scrunchie, and I like them on the color of my hair. I don't even remember where I saw this now, and I feel bad, but they just kind of put all their hair around. Like, I just kind of like brought some of it in the front. So it's like, come off on the top of your head. And then I just saw the person went and did this. Um, why do you look bad? Did I do it wrong? Okay, hold on, let me try again. I don't know what happened. See, hairstyles, like if you're gonna do a hairstyle, you need to give yourself a little extra time because obviously they don't always work out the first time. That's better. I don't know how that changed anything, but it did. Again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. I'm not a hair creator, okay? I just put the ends in the hair tie or you could bobby pin them. I like to pull out this front piece is so again, it's not like flat against my head. And sometimes I'll even pull out some over here because if it's a flat all the way around, hate it. I think I like that. So I like this because it's like super easy. It feels pretty secure. I mean, not crazy secure. I'm not gonna really whip my head back and forth because I don't think it's that secure. And we still got the little charms hanging out. I don't know how it looks with the stuff in the bag. I know they're, they're back there. That's why I like it. Cause like if they're all scattered throughout your hair and like maybe there's some in the bun. I don't, probably. It's like a fun little surprise. So like maybe the back of my head would not look good but I would be like, wait, but the little charms there. So it's like cute, right? I like this and then I was to work one day and a coworker was like, okay, fancy hair. And I was like, no, this was supposed to be like a grunge, punky 
bun. Why are you calling it fancy? And I got really upset. Not really upset. I was just secretly crying to myself in the corner. <laughs> I don't know. Does the top look stupid now? Guys, I'm overthinking this. <sighs> when you try to make it edgy and it turns out fancy. How? How does that... How does that happen? So there you have it. There are some fun different hairstyles I have been doing this year and are gonna try to work into my summer outfits. I'm so excited. If you guys liked this video, please let me know by liking and subscribing down below, but also leaving a comment and saying which hairstyle is your favorite, if you've tried any out, maybe none of these were new to you, maybe these were all new to you. They are all new to me and I feel like they're pretty plain and basic. But I would still love to know your opinions. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these and maybe I'll try some that I haven't tried before and I'll find some that I like. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I love you guys so so much. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you as always and I guess I will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>